What's up folks, if you've been watching my channel for any time at all, you probably know what a complete dork I am and how much I love wearing my Oakley gas can sunglasses. So I love these sunglasses for a number of reasons. I think the Oakleys just look sharp, they look nice, it's a well-known brand, people recognize it, uh, people respect it, it looks cool, but for me, a feature that I really like is comfort. So the bridge of my nose is pretty wide, but I have a pretty normal shaped head. So it's really hard to find sunglasses that fit me well that don't pinch my nose. And I found that these Oakley gas can sunglasses fit incredibly well. I've had some other pair of Oakleys previously that also fit well, but these seem to be the best of the ones I've tried. I also appreciate the wrap around that this area is covered. So basically it just keeps dust and it keeps crap out of your eyes. Um, I do a whole bunch of stuff, whether it's shooting or hiking or working with tools, a bunch of stuff where it's really important to have good eye protection. And so sunglasses that actually double as effective eye protection makes them extra valuable in my opinion. And along with that, all Oakley sunglasses, um, they, I think they call them ballistically rated. I, I don't know if that really means anything. You obviously can't shoot them with a bullet, but they are shatterproof. So basically if a shell casing hits you in the eye or you're on a dirt bike and a pebble pops up and pops you in the eye, these aren't going to shatter and send glass through your eyes. So that's very important because I think eye protection is always important whether it's shooting or using power tools or riding around on a four-wheeler or whatever you're doing. Um, so that's another great feature about all of these Oakley glasses. I also recently got PRK laser eye surgery, so I think eye protection is even more important because of that. So while I really like the, I guess the shockproof nature of these lenses, that they're shatterproof, that they're not going to break and send glass into my eye, that's obviously very important to me. I've actually been really disappointed at how much they scratch. I was expecting, oh, they're shatterproof, that means they're extra hard. It means they're not going to scratch, they're going to be really durable. I found quite the opposite, actually. This pair, along with several previous pairs of Oakleys I've had, just the lenses have just gotten damaged so easily and just through everyday use, whether it's wearing them or throwing them in a backpack or you know hanging them on the front of my shirt or sticking them in a pocket, I've just absolutely scratched the piss out of the lenses. Like there's so many scratches on here, it's almost like hazy to look through. I have another pair that's even worse. But like even there's a chunk of the finish missing right there. Like, come on. These things are just falling apart. Now I do love this color. I love that it's reflective, but not, you know, quite as vibrant as some of the reflective ones. But I started looking around for replacement lenses. So I was really disappointed in how scratched up these got. And the sunglasses themselves are perfectly intact. They're still really comfortable. They fit me really well. Everything on the glasses is fine. It's just the lenses are just getting torn up like crazy. So I called Oakley to see if I could get a spare set of lenses. And of course they won't give you a set for free because um, this is normal. I, I didn't even know that this was normal, that this amount of damage was to be expected. But apparently it is. So if you have Oakleys, watch out for your lenses because they scratch really easily. Um, so I called them and they said they could sell me a set of replacement lenses the non-polarized, the set would be $70 for the set, and the polarized lenses, it would be $100 for the set. And I was thinking, wow, maybe that's just their, you know, they're a manufacturer, but they also sell through stores, so maybe it's cheaper somewhere else. Nope, I called other retailers, and they were about the same price. Just crazy expensive for these replacement lenses. And so thinking about this, I... I I could almost get another pair of Oakleys. It was almost worth it to buy another pair of sunglasses over paying for the replacement lenses. Now, of course I could buy just a cheap gas station, you know, $5, $10 pair of sunglasses, but I've just found they don't fit me well. I end up, I'm more inclined to lose them because they're not comfortable, they're not cool, so I don't end up caring about them. So I break them more often and I lose them more often. So I'm like, well, I still want to stick with something nice. So I looked at Ray-Bans, I looked at um, Costas, I, I looked at a couple more, but I really wanted to stick with something that fit me well. And so I wanted to find replacement lenses. 
and I realized, well, other people have had this issue before. I can't be the only one who've been who's been disappointed at how easily these Oakley scratch. So I wasn't going to order the Oakley lenses, so immediately what do I do? I get on eBay. I start poking around. I find a few sellers of aftermarket lenses, and then I find this one seller. Uh, the name of the brand is Waleva, Waleva, basically Wall EVA. It's kind of hard to read the letters on their logo, but W-A-L-L-E-V-A. And I started looking through their stuff. It said it was a direct aftermarket replacement. It looked exactly like the lenses. Uh, they had some really cool colors. Uh, they said that they were shatterproof as well. So I decided to test them out. But ultimately the deciding factor for me is that instead of spending $100 on the polarized version of these Oakley lenses, I spent 30 and that was with shipping. So I think actually shipping was free. So technically it's just embedded in the cost. But it was $30 for the lenses. But at the time they had a coupon code running and it was if you buy one, you get 25% off the next. So I figured, well, Maybe these will scratch just as easily as the Oakleys did. Maybe not. It's worth taking a chance, but maybe I just want to change colors just, you know, for style, just to have a different look. So I went ahead and bit the bullet, I guess, or maybe I was just a sucker for their, their promo. Um, but I went ahead and bought the second set for 25% off. And when I got these lenses, I was thoroughly impressed. So these are the Oakley lenses that I actually put back in for this video, but I've been testing these Waleva or Waleva, however you say it, lenses for a couple weeks now. And they are every bit as good as the original Oakley lenses. I mean, I haven't, I haven't been smacked in the eye with something really hard, so that, that aspect I, I can't actually evaluate. But even their shock, uh, scratch resistance, I haven't gotten a scratch on these yet and I've treated them about the same. I don't know if that's better, I don't know if it's because I'm being more careful, but the one thing that I was pleasantly surprised by is how easy it was to install these. At least on the Oakley gas can model, they basically just pop right out. So basically you just, on, on this top ridge, you just kind of push in with your fingers and you get a corner to pop out and then once you get one corner to pop out, you just kind of work it all the way around and it pops right out. Let's do that with the other one. And installation is that easy as well. You flip it the other way, so you're working with it from the front now. Basically put that corner, almost that teardrop shape in that corner. Pop that in first. Let's see if we can focus a little better here. Pop that in first and then just kind of work it around the edge and the whole thing just kind of snaps in place. And once it's in place, it's a really solid fit. It's every bit as good a fit as the originals. And the one thing that was a little bit different, and I don't know if this is because of a patent or copyright thing or just because they wanted to be different, but they don't sell the exact colors. And maybe maybe it's as simple as they couldn't match the exact colors because these are kind of unique, weird coatings on here. I found these coatings to be very effective and very high quality, um, but I liked this kind of green gold color. There was one that was like a true gold, which was a little too intense for me, and I liked the greenish, so I went with this. I think they called this emerald, and it's kind of, I would say it's mostly a primary green, but with a blue fringe to it as well. And so I think it's a cool look. Um, and like I said earlier, I bought two pairs. So I went ahead and bought a pair in a different color. One thing that did surprise me a little bit is the amount of color shift looking through these lenses. So they are polarized, which is cool. And if you haven't used polarized sunglasses before, anytime you're looking at a screen or looking at window tint or something like that, there will be some weird effects. So if you're looking at a screen and sometimes you'll turn your head at a slight angle and actually polarized lenses are blocking certain angles of the light. So sometimes when you turn your head at an angle, it's harder to see a screen. It's almost like it dims down and blacks out a little bit. But that's intrinsic of all polarized lenses. So that's not a downside. If anything, it's just a proof to the fact that they actually are polarized. And a lot of times looking through like window tint or something like that, or even like a cell phone screen, anything that's got like a coating on it, a lot of times you'll kind of see this like ripply rainbow effect where the, the polarization is kind of interfering with the coating on the lens. So you see this kind of weird rainbow ripple. But again, not a downside, that's, that's true of all polarized lenses. 
What was a little bit odd with these, and I think it's just this specific color, is the amount of color shift through the glass. So the color shift on these particular lenses is kind of a magenta reddish hue. And as a general rule, you can look at the color of the lens and the primary opposite is generally um, kind of the direction of the color shift. Now this doesn't always work, so there are different coatings that work differently. But for example, if you look at this, um, the lens itself is kind of a greenish blue. That means a lot of green light is being reflected back at you. So the opposite of green is magenta. And so there's a lot of magenta light that's passing through the glass because it's not being reflected back. So if I hold it up, you can kind of see it. Um, it's, it's hard to really do that through a camera. So I'm gonna roll in some footage where I've color treated the video to look like what it looks through um, these particular lenses. So you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a magenta hue, but it's still a very crisp, sharp picture. So that's kind of the an overview of just the Waleva replacement glasses. Great price, seems to be great quality, and the fit and finish seems to be excellent so far. Um, time will tell whether they hold up, but so far I'm pleased with them. So let's go ahead and open the box just to look at what they come with. Um, this is actually a cool new knife I got. This is the Alhar Cert knife. It's, it's probably my favorite knife right now, so I'm going to be doing a whole video just about that. It's just kind of a prop in this video. So let's go ahead and, well, actually this knife is so sharp I can't just cut through the plastic. I cut the box a little bit. Alright, so we're going to kind of do a little bit of an unboxing on this other set of lenses just to show you what it comes with. So you open the outer box. And again, this is just kind of for retail, I guess, or it shipped in another box, so technically it was three layers of packaging. Um, but it comes in this, you open this up. Actually a nice little jewelry box with a foil stamp on here, so good quality packaging. Open it up, and then the lenses themselves are actually in a nice microfiber cloth. So that keeps them from getting scratched in the case. It also comes with a microfiber cleaning cloth and then just a regular desiccant pack, just I guess to keep any humidity um, from causing any corrosion in there. A lot of these tents, tents actually are a little bit metallic, so they, they can corrode, um, but this prevents the corrosion or just any buildup or any, I guess, odors or anything like that. It keeps it fresh. So you got your lens cleaning cloth, and then let's look at the actual lenses. It's nice that it comes with this bag, I guess, for them to be packaged. Honestly, I'm not gonna be putting the lenses back in here. Well, I don't intend to. If I end up buying several sets and switching out the lenses just for different styles, then I guess I will end up using this. But, I don't know. It's, they went the extra mile and included a nice bag, whether it's necessary or not. Um, so these are kind of a red gold color, and I love the look of this. So it's almost like a crimson red right in the middle and then kind of like a burnt gold color towards the fringes or in, in the other reflections of the light. Um, let's go ahead and pop these into the glasses just to show you what those look like. So I'm probably going to be using these right now. I don't know. I just like them a whole lot. But it's cool how easy it is to change them. Like, I can literally pop them in and out that easy. And these are real Oakleys that I'm putting them in and out. If you bought like Chinese, well, I guess a lot of Oakley stuff's made in China now. Um, but if you bought just uh, Foglies, if you bought just knockoffs, uh, I can't necessarily guarantee they'll fit. I, I don't know. Because they might, they might make them look right, but the mold might not be exactly the same. Um, just pop them in, and it was that easy. Actually, that red looks pretty slick, too. It almost looks like the, the coating that's on a lot of like red dot sites, on a lot of reflex optics. So that's a pretty cool coating as well. I think right now I'm gonna go back to the green. Well, I don't know. I might go back to the red. Um, but again, you can't really see that well through here. These are polarized again, and sometimes that does weird things with the camera lens. So I'm gonna roll in some footage just to kinda of show you what the red ones look like from the viewer's perspective. Um, so you can kinda of see that there's a slight color shift here, um, but it's still a nice, crisp, clear image. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these back out. Again, still super easy. I mean, you gotta push forcefully, so it's not like they're gonna pop out on their own, but when you put force in the right place, it just works exactly like it should. Oh, I got a little string in there. I don't know if it was from my table or from the lens, or most likely it was probably from this little bag. There you go, and they just pop right back in. So if you have Oakleys and your lenses are worn out, just you can actually replace them. You don't have to buy the $100 Oakley replacement lenses. You can actually buy something affordable that's good quality. And so far, I think this Walleva brand replacement lenses for Oakleys definitely looks like a good quality product. So definitely worth checking out. Thanks, guys. Until next time, stay safe, be free, and never stop seeking adventure.